Gary, did you feel like you ran a four three today? Absolutely. I wish I wish they could have told me the time. I don't know what it was, but I felt like I ran a four three today. Uh, I came out stumbled, but I feel like my get back speed is probably what made me run a good time. On your uh, second attempt, when the guy held you off, what was he telling you that you did wrong? He said I he said I rolled into my forty, which means uh, the scouts they probably started the time. Like I guess if you roll and tour or if you just make any sudden moves, they start the clock no matter what. And so he brought me back. I think on my last attempt, I might have did the same thing. So they started my time. I don't know what I ran once again. I hope it was something good. And uh, is the, the 40 is, I mean, that's always been your strong suit, but has, has that been something that you've been focusing on over the last few months since the season ended? Uh, not at all. I haven't been focusing on that. I've just been focusing on uh, things that I think I struggle with, such as uh, pass blocking. I was trying to get better at pass blocking. My 40 is going to be my 40. Can't really change that much about speed. You either got it or you don't. And uh, lastly for me, how was it to have uh, members of your family out here today? And, and how many supporters did you say you had? I want to say I had at least 25 and I, it was truly a blessing because they you know they normally don't get to fly from the east coast to see me play so just seeing just having them here today and and just getting to see me perform was a blessing for me and i appreciate all the support and how many times did your family come out to arizona for a game well my mom made at least three because you know uh, it's just pretty expensive to fly from the east coast so she made about three and uh, lastly, for me, um, what would you say was probably your biggest weakness today? You said my biggest weakness? We yeah, weakness or, so or something that you probably struggle with, a specific drill or anything. Yes, I struggle with the 5-10-5, the five five, mainly because I was, I was falling. Like every time I went to touch the line, I, I would fall or I would just miss it, or it was just, it just was a struggle, but that always been a little struggle for me. I'm, I'm like an in-game player. Like when it comes to the drills and everything, I mean, it's, it's nice to have them, but I'm a football player. Gary, who were some of, who were some of the people who are out here to support you today? Uh, you have my mom, my two sisters, my nephew was out there, my aunt was out there, uh, my cousins, uh, and, and just a few uh, family friends. And would, do you sort of feel their presence? I mean, we could hear them cheering for you. Do you? Were they inspiring you when you were out there? Yeah, it was. It felt good. It felt good just to just to hear your family say your name. It felt like a uh, little lead again. Lorenzo, how'd you think you did today? I thought I had a good day. You know, I think the most important thing is I just went out there, gave it my best shot, enjoyed the moment. And if I'm doing all those things, I, I feel good. So and I hit, I hit certain numbers that I wanted to hit. So today was a good day for me. Roy was really upbeat after today, and you seem really positive about you know how you performed. Was that just kind of the overall mood with the guys today? Maybe more positivity rather than nervousness. Right. Yeah. I, yes, it was. I told um, Sad, Tristan, Roy, Gary. Just we've been doing this for a while. There's nothing we haven't done. Um, just go out there and have fun. And I think everybody did a good job today, keeping the energy up. I know personally, I just kept my energy up. Whatever happened, happened. I mean, you can't sit and think about one thing for too long or what you did bad or what you did good. You know, you're just going to take the good with the bad, the bad with the good, and everything keep moving on. So I think our attitude today was great, and uh, I had a good time. Hey, Lorenzo. Mike Kinder from Overtime Fantasy. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. I just want to know what is the uh, what is the best thing you think you can offer to the NFL team, like um, you know, positive attitude, anything like that. What's the best thing that you you do an NFL team? I think the best thing that I offer to an NFL team is my ability to present my stuff anywhere for the team. I'll go play special teams. I'll go play nickel safety anywhere where the coach needs me. Um, I'm, I don't have an ego. I'll, I'll push the ego to the side. I'm going to do whatever for the team. I'm physical. I'll, I'll work hard, I'll grind every day, and my mental capability of understanding adjustments and everything, I can bring that to a team too. Uh, Roy, good to see you again. Uh, overall, how, how did you think you did today? I think I did good. I think I had a good day. Um, you know, I felt like I showed strengths where 
kind of everybody pretty much had an idea, you know, where my strengths were, you know, and so you know, that's a big part of pro day is just, you know, coming in and, and you know, showing that you you got better strengths than what, you know, people think, you know, so just excel at what you already do good. So. And, and what are your biggest strengths and maybe weaknesses that you're trying to work on? I mean, strength is, uh, you know, I feel, you know, quick, quick and explosive, quick change of direction. Um, within 5, 10, 15 yards is, you know, where, you know, I feel like, you know, is where my bread and butter's at. And um, you know, strength is, you know, lifting weights and changing line of scrimmage, getting someone off you. Just everything that involves kind of D-line, you know, positional work and stuff like that. So, you know, weakness, you can always get faster. You can always work on a lot of things. And um, But like I said, I feel like I have – I'm I'm I'm, ha I'm happy with my results. So, Roy, did they give you uh, what your fifth the, your forty time was? I haven't got my forty time, um, my official one. I know a couple a team had me at a five one two, five one three, five one four somewhere in there, um, but I have not got my official time. I, I don't know. And uh, when it came to the the bench press, I think thirty six was the number they they logged for you. Where where did that fall as far as what you were hoping for? I mean, I was hoping for 40, um, but, you know, you know, I'm happy with that number. Um, you know, training wise, I was right around that, you know, that area, you know, but you never know, you know, pro day, you get a couple extra reps here and there, but uh, I'm happy with that number. It was great for me to do it. Um, yeah, happy with it. Roy, um, you know, as you, you know, get, get ready for the next step in this process, what is something that you, you know, hope to accomplish outside of maybe just getting some interviews in? Um, just continue to get my body ready. Um, you know, I've lost about 7% body fat since the season. And, you know, I understand that that's something that you got to do to go to the next level, you know, and I don't plan to, you know, stop here and just keep getting my body right for the next level and grow my strength and just um, get more fluent in the hips and, and everything just to make me a better football player. That way, when I go out there, you know, I feel comfortable and I'm, I'm ready to play to the best of my ability um, and just, you know, stay ready you know, and be ready for anything. So excited.